motivational speech. She's our sergeant at arms, so I'm trying to work it out soon as she gets up. <laughs> and she is on her sixth speech in the Competent Communicator Program, Program Game. The speech title is the Four Agreements Speech Time, five to seven minutes. Tabera is an inspirational speaker whose passion is to uplift others through her words. Tonight, she is excited to share four agreements that she says will change your life. Help you welcome to me. Good evening. The woman that you see standing before you right now is a completely transformed woman from four years ago. Four years ago, I hated myself. I had self-rejection issues. I was in an abusive relationship for going on 12 years. And my ex-husband told me for 12 years that I was never gonna be anything in life, that I was a loser, that I was a failure. And I internalized that, and I believed that for many, many years about myself. And so I started to chase love in all the wrong places. I was madly chasing love. And it got so bad, and I got so desperate, I turned to drugs. I turned to sex. I turned to anything to do so that I could feel loved, so that I could feel that for the first time in my life, I was good enough, because I never felt good enough. And I was always trying to prove myself through everything that I did, through school, through getting a bachelor's degree, through getting a master's degree, through having kids. I was always trying to prove that I was good enough. But it didn't work until I realized that I had to do some work on myself. It was about me, it was about self-reflection, and it was about falling in love with myself. But back to the story about my ex. It was about four years ago. This was about the third time that he had cheated on me. I kept leaving and I kept going back. I kept leaving and I kept going back. I had two little kids at the time, my boys, three and six. And I remember it one afternoon, it was Valentine's Day. And on this day, I found out for the third time that my husband was cheating on me and I was fed up and I was tired and then I was making a decision. So I decided I was gonna leave him. I packed up all the stuff while he was at work. He had no clue that I knew that he cheated on me, nothing. Got the kids, moved in with my mom in Palmdale. Remember, I said I was doing a lot of drugs at the time to get away, to numb the pain, to numb the pain of life, of being alive, because I was tired of living in it. I was tired of living it. I hadn't created my personal hell. It was time for me to take a stand for myself and get out. What did I do? I dropped the boys off with my mom. I met up with my friends and went and got high for three days straight in San Bernardino Mall. At the time, it felt great because I was numbing the pain. I was getting so high that it felt so good just to numb everything. Left my kids with my mom, didn't know where I was for three days. I finally decided, hey, you know, it's time for me to go home. And I'm not proud to admit this, I was high as hell and I drove home from San Bernardino Mountains to Palmdale after three days of straight partying all night, smoking crystal meth, dancing up, having a great time to numb the feeling of not being good enough, to numb the feeling of not being happy with who I was. So I get home, I get out of my car. After three days of partying, I walk into the apartment. My three-year-olds run up to me, Mom! I'm literally so high, I walk into the bathroom, and I pass out, black out completely. The next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. And I was in and out of consciousness, and in the hospital, I literally was in and out of consciousness. I kept hearing things beeping, I kept seeing doctors, I was in and out. And in that moment, I made a decision for me. And I said, God, God, please, please, if you let me live, I promise that I'm going to do my God's work for you because I know that I have a purpose here to fulfill. God, even if you don't let me live for me, let me live for my kids. And of course, he did let me live because I'm here with you guys now. And don't feel sorry for me because my story gets a lot better, damn it, a lot better. And that's why I say I stand before you today transformed because I love myself, I'm a courageous, authentic, trusting leader, 
and I am doing big, big, big things in my life. And I am madly in love with my life. I've manifested an amazing life. And this is where I want to tell you, I have a lot of tools that I use, but tonight I want to focus on four agreements that I have with myself that I want to offer to you as a gift. And it's from a book my boyfriend Terry introduced me to about a year ago called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Anyone have, have you heard of that? Raise your hand. Yeah, it's an amazing book. So very quickly, the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. It's simple. Say what you mean and mean what you say is what I always tell my kids. Be impeccable with your word. And there's an acronym that I like to use called THINK. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? True, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind. And if you do that, most of the time, you're being impeccable with your word, and people will respect you more, and you'll, in turn, respect people more because you're a woman or a man of your word. Number two, don't take things personally. Don't ever take things personally. People want to tell you things about yourself and they reflect their images on you, when really, it's their issues, it's not your issues. For example, the other night my mom tells me I don't have good boundaries for my kids. Could have got mad, could have took that personally, and I said, you know what, thank you, but I don't receive that. I choose to raise my kids differently than you do. I, ha I let them do self-expression. I let my daughter go to school in purple and black and blue if she wants to, which my mom didn't let me do. So it's okay, I don't take it personally. Number three is seek first to understand but it's, uh, don't make assumptions is, is the key word, don't make assumptions. <clears throat> Seek first to understand. Communication is everything, guys. Communication all day long is what we want to master. Because when you can effectively communicate with people, you can enroll them into your vision for life, and you can get people to do anything you want them to do. So that's a really good key right there, definitely. And the last one is always do your best. How you show up for anything, is how you show up for everything. Mm -hmm. So do your best. You, 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 you are in control of 100% of the energy you bring to every situation. And when you bring that amount of energy, you can uplift the whole room. Because you're just that awesome. So again, to recap that really quickly, because I do talk fast and that's something I'm working on. <laughs> the four agreements are, does anyone remember the first one? Be impeccable. Be impeccable. Yay, you guys are doing the work for me, thank you. Number two. Don't, don't take, take things personal. personal. Yes, number three. Seek first, first to first understand, person. don't assume. Thank you, and number four. Always do your best. best. Thank you so much, and as Mahat Gandhi says, be the person that you want to be and others will follow. Thank you. Thank you.